around and enjoy spending a portion of our day with you. We know that you have so many options when you fly away. Thank you for choosing Southwest Airlines. Once again, welcome to Las Vegas. Travel safe, everyone. Good afternoon from Long Beach Airport and welcome to my first trip report of 2024. Today I'm flying to Las Vegas on Southwest Airlines 3902. Join me on today's trip report and flight experience. Today's trip is a lot different from the normal trips to Vegas because I'm flying out on a Wednesday afternoon. I purchased the Wanna Getaway Plus ticket and it allows me to both stand by and confirm a seat on an earlier flight on the day of travel. So with that I ended up taking flight 3902 departing 3.20 p.m. So I'm not used to flying out during the midweek and it's pretty quiet here in Long Beach. It helps that it's also early January so not many are traveling. I completed check-in and TSA pre-check in a record time for me, about six minutes from being dropped off to here in the patio past the TSA security. Pretty cool. Originally, I was supposed to fly out on the evening flight, 878, but I decided to see if I could stand by or confirm on an earlier flight. Flight 3902 departs at 3.20 in the afternoon, and when I looked there were about 90 open seats, so I had a good feeling I could get on that flight. So after checking in, I waited until midnight my time to see if I could stand by or confirm. And for only 40 cents, I was able to confirm, and it cost the same whether I chose Want to Get Away or Want to Get Away Plus. So I went with Want to Get Away Plus and was confirmed on the flight. And that part of the trip report sorted out, and with about 45 minutes before boarding, let's head to the gate and wait to board. You might notice that the terminal isn't too busy compared to either the morning or evening flights you're used to seeing on my trip reports from Long Beach. There on the departure board is Southwest 3902, departing at 3.20 p.m. It's on time and departing from gate 9 with the current temperature in Vegas at 48 degrees Fahrenheit. There's a plane that'll take me to Las Vegas this afternoon. It's a 22-year-old Boeing 737-700. It's registered November 409 Whiskey November. The plane was delivered to Southwest in December 2001. There are 143 seats in a 3-3 all-economy layout. If you're a plane spotter, that registration N409WN is the former Triple Crown 1 livery. It was painted in the Hart livery in December 2023. My friend Matthew, who you met in my October trip report to Boise, mentioned that there will be a new Triple Crown 1 on a Boeing 737-800 N8681M. Right. We do need to check those items for you before boarding. 
And lastly, alcohol is not permitted on board. So if you purchase one here at the airport, unfortunately you cannot take it with you. And folks, uh, once you go to the door, make a right, you go all the way down. Do not go under or over extension. Your aircraft is going to be the last one you see on your left hand side. If you go to the gate 81, it's not going to get you Vegas. So go all the way down to gate number 9. That was a very detailed and thorough explanation of the boarding process and where to go to make sure you board the correct plane. Boarding here in Long Beach is done outside and you follow the path which is roped off to ensure you get on the right plane. You don't want to be disappointed if you were going to Vegas and you ended up in Denver instead because you didn't follow the path. And today because there are so few passengers, there will be no boarding at the back of the plane like normal. There ended up being about 80 empty seats, so I guess uh, there's no need for back uh, boarding today. The flight attendants serving you today are Josh from the back, Demetrius in the middle, and my name is Megan. I'll be serving you up front. Shortly after Shortly after takeoff, we will serve complimentary soft drinks, juice, and coffee. Premium selections, including alcohol, are also available for purchase or with a valid drink coupon. There's a beverage menu in your seat back pocket, or you may go to the Southwest Beverage Menu on the in-flight entertainment portal. SouthwestWiFi.com, where these options are displayed. A few seconds later, I saw that the exit row was still empty, mm -hmm. so I decided to take 12A instead. There's no seat in front of me, and I had to put my backpack and carry on in the overhead. But wow, look at all that leg room. I could really stretch out, and it makes me wish I was flying further away, like to Nashville or somewhere around there. The tray table is inside that compartment under the right armrest. It pulls out, and you can open it to expand the tray. And even though I'm in the exit row, the seats are still the narrowest of the Southwest fleet at between 15.5 inches and 17. Seat pitch is 31 inches and the seat reclines about 2 degrees. You must be at least 15 years old to sit in the emergency row exit. And after the flight attendant explains the responsibilities of sitting there, you have to verbally confirm that you can help. And by the way, row 13 has a full window, that's the view that you'll get. And of course I can't forget about the overhead air vents and reading lights. There they are. Good afternoon, everybody. I just need a few favors. First, for your favor, everybody reach your hand up. Go ahead and open up that vent for me so once we get in the air, we can get this airborne at a nice, cool rate for everybody. Second favor, I need everybody to look down. If you don't see your feet, that means your seat is not in the upright position. All your carrying arms are not completely sewed all the way underneath the seat for us. Second thing, if you're leaning back and you think you're comfortable too early, you're going to wait till we get up in the air. Go ahead and raise that seat back all the way up for me. Once again, everybody, welcome aboard. With 80 open seats, the boarding was particularly fast and easy. And I'm the only one seated in 13A, B, or C. Alright, the board entry door is now closed, which means all those electronic devices now need to be put into airplane mode. We do ask that if you're going to be using any of those small portable electronic devices or any electronic devices during your flight, that you do have the volume turned off or make sure that you have headphones in. Continue wearing your mask until otherwise notified by a crew member. If you are traveling with anybody who needs special assistance or any children, please put on your mask first and please remove any face coverings before donning an oxygen mask to alert. Oh, that's all funny. So please. <laughs> Make sure that the 
seatbelt is securely fastened. We have been cleared for takeoff. It's a beautiful afternoon, so enjoy our takeoff over Long Beach. We'll head northwest, turn south, and loop back towards the northeast. Sit on the A side for great views of the city of Long Beach. changed since last year and so now I'm going to pull out the tray which is in that armrest on the right side it folds out as you can see there there's a little square there and a little divot in the left armrest to show you how close you can get the tray towards you and since no one is seated next to me I'll use the middle tray to put my drink and snack on Because of such an empty flight, the flight attendants took our drink orders quite quickly. I asked for water and I ended up getting the whole 12 ounce can. I'd say that's a pretty good deal. And of course, please stay hydrated when you're flying. The regular snack mix is back on this trip report. And if anyone has flown Southwest recently, do you know if they still offer the graham crackers? at least for the morning flights. Thank you. With 
that announcement, let's wrap up today's trip report on Southwest 3902. First, it's great to fly midweek to Vegas as it's relaxing and more importantly, the prices are quite reasonable. I've seen midweek tickets from Long Beach from between $65 to $85, but you could find lower fares if there's a sale or some promo. And there might be a lot of open seats. I'll just have to see if this is true other times of the year. The gate agent gave very detailed instructions on boarding the correct plane. I've never seen anyone not follow the roped off path or signs, so maybe this is just a new courtesy announcement. Make sure you choose 13A if you want the best legroom on Southwest's Boeing 737-700. The crew was very good and quite generous in terms of the beverage service. I'm not surprised the snack mix is back, but I do hope the graham crackers are still offered, at least in the morning. And there's no turbulence, but like always, this is a short flight at about 40 minutes in the air. Overall, it's a great way to start the new year on Southwest. And there is Las Vegas and the Strip right in front of you. We're landing on runway 26 Lima, 26L towards the west, so no view of the Strip today. Southwest at the time that are on the overhead bins. They were the ones who helped Southwest achieve number one in on-time performance, baggage handling, and customer service from 1992 to 96. Thanks for joining me on Southwest Airlines 3902 from Long Beach to Las Vegas. See you next time.